Hello guys and welcome to the first ever episode of my Director of Football Career Mode in Football Manager 24. We are going to be managing none other than Girona, the club that's doing so good in the La Liga now. And we're going to try to take them with a Director of Football role and with great purchases in that director football wall together with the data sheet that I've built and I'm gonna make sure that they will become the best team in Spain. So before we start I have a video where I explain how I use Excel and data to sign the best players. It's in the link below so go ahead and check that out and there's also a link below where I explain how you can set up your own safe so that you can also play as a director of football. I will show you a little bit in this episode how you do it um, but first before I do that let's go take a look at Girona here. So. Pretty small club, if you were to say so. If we go to club information, they have got some affiliates in Bolivia, in Spain, and Manchester City are actually also one of their affiliates. There are uh, senior affiliates. If we go to the facilities, you see that we're playing in the Montilivi uh, stadium, which can hold 11,000 players, uh, seaters. Uh, so not that much. Good training facilities, good youth facilities, good academic and excellent youth recruitment. These training facilities we're going to be upgrading, but not for now. Finance-wise, we have 7 million in the budget, 5 million in the transfer budget. With wages, we're spending half a million, which is quite okay. And we do not have any loans or any debt, which is very good. Then let's go ahead and take a look at the team. This is the tactic that I've set up, but of course, we're not going to be playing with this tactic. We're going to be playing with a tactic that our assistant manager, quote unquote, our real manager, will uh, want to play. And we're going to sign players that he actually wants us to play. So right here you see a lot of players that we have loaned in. Young Kuto we have loaned in from Manchester City who looks to be very very good. And if we go in that quick pick position you already see a lot of players that are going to be playing in different positions. Um, so you have Eric Garcia who we've loaned in from Barcelona. Pablo Torre who we've loaned in from Barcelona as well. And also Savio who we've loaned from Troy. But of course he's part of the Manchester City group. And I think Troy is so as well. So of course Savio has been... Uh, is, is, he is owned by Troy. But of course in the end it's all connected to the Manchester City group. We have Gazaniga in goal. Who has a uh, history in the Premier League, of course, at Tottenham and at Southampton, where many people may know him. Then we've got Daily Blind here as a backup. He is an Ajax legend, as you can see, played there for many, many seasons after losing on a free to Barcelona and then Girona. Alex Garcia, 26 year old, who's looking pretty good at, in that position. Angor Herrera, of course, had great potential. Um, in the previous games, I don't know if he still has it, but just an overall okay player. As you can see, a lot of loans. We really want to play as, lo uh, as less loans as we possibly can. And then we also have John Solis, who is actually a player from us. So we don't, we haven't loaned him in. Great potential for that guy as well. And otherwise, we also have Porto, who is, I think, also a well-known name in the Spain and Spanish football. Played for us already before and should also get a starting spot in this team. So what I will be doing with you right now is I will go to staff and I will search for that assistant manager that we want. Of course, here it says we're the manager, but how this series works is that we don't play any game. We only do the staff management and the player management. We don't do play any games. We just let our assistant manager play all the games. So let's go ahead and see what kind of assistant manager we can get in at this point. Um, of course, this guy is currently a manager. If you click on manager, these are the most important things. So tactical knowledge, motivation, people management, and judging player ability. I think if you're assistant manager, yeah. So we need to add motivation and tactical knowledge. So that's what you do right here. You pick, you select tactical knowledge and motivation. Then you have all of those. You go ahead and pick them like that and then you have a lot of players here so for example we have 
Miroslav Benarek, who can be our manager. I could ask him if he wants to be our assistant manager. So let's go ahead. Uh, so he is, he is an option if we want to. He plays a 4-2-3-1 wide. So we need our 4-4-2. So we need a player for him that he can use in the 4-4-2. We also have a Lars Knudsen who we could bring in. He's play, he also plays a 4-4-2. Um, I think Pedro Salaberry also wants to join. He plays a 4-3-3. Igno Palau plays a 4-3-3. And I think these other ones, yeah, they could also want to join. Monaco plays a 4-2-3-1. And this guy plays a 4-4-2. Philip Germany plays a, let's see here, a 5-2-3. That could also be uh, interesting. Philip Germany, his name might also, also sounds nice. Let's see if he wants to come in as our assistant manager. He does not. He only wants to be our low manager. So that's not going to be working out. Noor Burnett. Also not really working out. That's why that's when I will just uh, put this up and then lower the judging player potential. And then the one that comes out is Lars Knudsen. So I am going to try to offer him a contract, get him in, and I will be back with you if he signed. And if he didn't sign, who else signed for us? So I will be back in a little bit. So guys, here we are. The main coach has arrived, our manager, the guy who we're going to be playing with. And it is, and it is, and it is, Lars Knudsen. So Lars Knudsen has come in as our assistant manager. However, we are going to treat him as, as if he is our actual manager. So we are going to be uh, buying players for his preferred tactic, the 4-4-2. What I did for myself is I've loaded a tactic in which I've gotten from the FM manager scout and I've just put some players in so I know which positions I have to scout players for. So as you can see here, I'm going to have to scout for attacking forwards and that was the tactic that he was using in my friendlies. As you can see here, he was still using those tactics because I told him so. But then the actual game against Las Palmas came and he started using his own tactic and this is what he's playing as. So what I will be doing is I will be uh, grabbing players in who I think are the best for these roles. For the attacking, for the strikers, it's usually the advanced forward roles. For the wingers, it's I'm just gonna use winger. And for the midfield roles, I'm gonna either use the ball winning midfielder or the Segunda Volante. And the two back, the, uh, the two defenders will be the ball playing defenders. The right back and the left back will both be wing backs on attack. So that's where I'm going to be searching players for. As you can see, the first game we played, it ended in a 1-1. Which was very unfortunate. And let me just show you how I set up this save file. So we can play as a director of football. All of these that you see in white now. Is all part of my job description. So basically buying and selling players. And hiring and firing my, my uh, coaching staff. Or just my staff in general. And then my staff is... Um, responsible for all of these and i have divided these if it's Girona b then it's my b manager if it's under 19s then it's my 19s manager as you can see here and as you can see here and the other things are all part of lars knutsen's job so he's responsible for everything now the only thing that i will be doing is finding players that fit his tactic i was gonna think uh, if we whenever a game comes up i just press go on holiday and i go on holiday and he uses his own uh, tactic but what i was thinking is i'm just going to be seeing if uh, i don't want him to use this tactic because this tactic is the very good one from the fm manager scout but i just want him to come up with his own tactics and his own things and i'm just going to be buying the players that i think are good for him as well and he can just uh, resolve a tactic for that what I wanted to show you is we aren't even at the end of the transfer window, but I already made two big, big sales. Uh, three, actually. I have, um, if we go right here, I have sold three players. Valerie for 2.9. He wasn't really going to be a starter for us, so I just sold him off. Stuani um, was on very high wages, wasn't even a starter for us, so I sold him off as well. And David Lopez wasn't a starter for us, so I sold him off. Why did I sold off, sell off these two players? Because they had, they had big wages and we now have more money left in our transfer budget and in our wage budget to buy in some replacements if we want to. This is the starting squad, how it's looking. So 
you would say we don't really need anything we don't really need um, re reinforcements, but I just want to get a, another, I think this position is for a winger. So I want to get another, no, it's a ball winning midfielder. I want to get another ball winning midfielder in and an advanced forward, so a striker. And then the, um, the whole team should be complete. Then what I will also do is I will fill in all these roles that we have. I did, of course, fire an assistant manager that I had. Why? Because we don't want any assistant managers. There only needs to be one. The rest of them will all be coaches. And the director of football I have fired because we are the director of football. So how can we be the director of football when somebody else already is? So I'm going to be filling this up. I will be coming back to you. At the end of this transfer window and how the episodes will look is I will go from season to season. So you will see me do the whole transfer window. Then you will see me do the whole January transfer window. And then you will see me do the end of the season. And that way in one episode you will see the beginning of the season. The January transfer window. The youth intake. And the end of the season. And then you will have everything that you wanted to see from that season. So every episode is a season. Do keep that in mind. So we're going to go. Pretty quick through this, but I think that's the fun way because you want to see how this team goes to the top. And I think that's the proper way to do it. Anyway, I will be back to with you when I've done some uh, other signings and some maybe some other sales. And you will see what we made of the squad so far. So see you in a couple of seconds. Hello guys, here we are again. Back once again. I have done some business. I have gotten some coaches and some... Uh, scouts in also some more medical stuff all my physios should now be 20 which is the first thing i usually do uh, getting 20 physios is not very hard as for the coaching i have hired new fitness um, staff and also new uh, goalkeeping staff because we really needed some upgrades in there so i have now have 15 uh, plus uh, goalkeepers which uh, goalkeeper keeper trainers which is good I've hired some head performance and performance uh, guys and I've hired some scouts, recruitment analysts and of course the head physios that I told you about. Uh, everybody is 20 plus there so that's very nice. And let's go into the signings that I've made. Right here you can still see Baba is coming in, uh, 1.7. I already bought him for next year because he's looking very good. I couldn't really see all of his stats but already 30 marking, 15 tackling with okay physicals was enough for me to be able to buy him. Only uh, 1.1 1, 1 million I think we're paying for him, not too much. Yeah, it's going to be 2.1 but I think he's going to be a good backup for us. And then let me show you what kind of signings we brought in. Of course, you already saw last episode who we sold. And I will show you the ones that we actually did. So we got rid of David Lopez, uh, 33 years old, was on 60k a week. So glad to get rid of him. Stuani was on 29k a week, wasn't going to be a starter for us. So just sold him on as well. Valerie also sold him to Bologna just because we didn't really have a place for him. So he's gone for 2.9 million. And then I've also bought in some players. And the players that I've bought in are the only ones are, I think, right here. So these five I've bought in. So first and foremost, Fabio Tavares. Why did I bring him in? Just a good backup, ex uh, backup player to have. Great physicals. Okay, technicals. 13 dribbling and 14 finishing is good enough for what we're trying to achieve here. 13 work great as well. So... Very cheap transfer fee, just thinking it might just work out. Then we also bought in Jesse Lingard, who has great uh, technicals for this uh, for the for this team, great mentals as well, and okay physical. So we should be using uh, be able to use him a lot. Let's see if he's already played. Yeah, he's played one game for us, but I think that's as a uh, substitute. So um, hopefully our trainer will use him. I'm not sure what he will do with it. Anyways, we've also bought in Wesley Said. As you can see, great physicals, great mentals for that striker position, and also great technicals. So he could be a real deal. I think he did play already one game. Yeah, but it's, again, up to our manager to use him if he wants to. The yes, the no. Then we've also brought in Leonard Maloney, a 23-year-old American who's playing for Heidelheim. Bought him in for a couple of Ks. He's a driven personality with great physicals, great mentals, and okay uh, technicals but he has a technical ability that you need for that uh, role 13 heading 13 marking 14 uh, tackling which is just 
a great for a defensive midfielder. So bought him in for 3 mil. And then also from Mainz we bought in Danny Da Costa. Also bought him in on my previous series. Just great, great physicals, great mentals and great technicals for that right wing, uh, right back uh, position. Only bought him in for 1.6 mil on a 2 year deal I think, 3 year deal. So I'm just curious to see if our manager will actually use him. As for the stats or how we've done is we've drawn one, lost one and won two. So we are currently sitting in the fifth position and our manager is doing pretty okay. I'm, I'm happy with the fifth position finish. If you look at the Spanish division, I think we're predicted to finish 14th. So anything above 14th is just good for us. So four games in, our manager has done pretty well, I would say. Uh, what we'll be doing is every uh, episode will be a whole series or will be a whole season from now on. So what I will do is I will sim, uh, I will the next episode you will see the January transfer window, the end of that season, and then the episode after that will be the beginning of the season, January and the end of the season. It's just that this uh, first episode was a little bit uh, longer because I wanted to explain how we're doing, wh what we're doing in this episode, so that's why. Anyway, if you have any suggestions or which players I should buy or what I should do, leave me down in the comments below. I would love to hear your impact. Also, if you like this, please leave a like. It helps me out a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more. I upload this series twice a week, so you'll get probably updates on Mondays and on Fridays. So keep tuned for that. Anyway, I want to thank you once again for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one.